Hi, for this Azure Quick Hits, we're going to look at redirecting a root domain to Azure Front Door using Azure Functions. From the 50,000 foot view, basically we take the root domain, uh, in my case I'm using my domain civitasmea.com, we're going to redirect that to an Azure Function, right? it's going to get proxied, the, fun the proxy is going to call the function, going to give it back to the DNS provider where the DNS provider is going to map www.civitasmea.com to civitasmea.com azurefd.net, which is going to go to front door, and front door is going to recognize that as civitasmea.com, or as www.civitasmea.com, depending on how your browser actually interprets the, uh, the redirect. All right, let's get started. So let's look at the problem here. You can see the URL I've got is www, subdomain, as civitasmea.com, right? If, however, I type in the root of just http colon whack whack civitasmea.com I'm going to get this website not found because I cannot route that to my front door right front door does not publish a public IP address same holds true if I use the HTTPS civitasmea.com so that's the problem we're going to solve first thing we're going to do is log into Azure portal and then go to the function app okay we're going to create a new one put it in the right subscription, choose a resource group. The function app name, I'm going to call this uh, civitasmea URL root redirect. Runtime stack, I'm going to choose .NET Core. And the location for this one is going to be in West US 2. Next, into the hosting, choose a storage account. If you don't have one set up already, just create a new one. I'm going to run it on Windows, doesn't really matter to me, and it's going to be serverless computing. Onto the monitoring, I like to see what's going on, so I'm going to keep this application insights up and running, or available anyway. Tags, I don't have any tags. Review and create. And don't forget to click on the create button. That takes about a minute to finish, so then we'll go to the resource. And the first thing we're going to do is go to functions. Add a function. And here we're going to choose the HTTP redirect, or HTTP trigger, sorry. And we're going to call this the root redirect and authorization level function. All that does is put a key in so that a function can call it alone, the security key. Now we'll select code and test. Okay, and you can cut and paste the code in. I'll put it in the chat below. Here we go, and I've just cut all of this out, control C, and replace the default code that's in there. So all you need here is a portion of the URL that you want to redirect, right, the header, and you need the target. This is the front door uh, DNS resolvable C name. So this is where it's going to go, but this one works. Remember, I showed you right at the start, civitasmea.com. It redirects to front door. And this is the component of the, uh, the request, the initial URL that you want to match and redirect to here. And that's the function. That's the entire function of the function. Before you click Save, hit Test Run. Click Run. Sometimes I have to do this twice. Okay, it executed perfectly. If we do another run, you'll see we get four lines of code back here just saying everything's looking good. Or one, okay. Close this, save this. Now go to the get function URL and copy this. We're gonna need that when we set up the proxy. You can close it. Go down to proxies.
and we're going to add a proxy. And the proxy name is going to be the redirect proxy. Let's call it that. Uh, redirect URL proxy. Let's call it that URL proxy. And the route template, we're just going to enter in this star path. You could do it slash as well. Um, all methods and the back end URL. That's where we're going to send the home. If you look here, this is the redirect. So create and we're good to go. All right. After this, we want to go down to and here's where the the magic happens. Custom domains. Under custom domains, we need to add a custom domain. And the first one we're going to start with is the star.civitasmea.com, which is just going to tell us anything that comes to any subdomain to civitasmea.com is going to get routed to www.civitasmea.com. And we'll click on validate. Okay. There is a validation process that you have to go through with your with the DNS provider. I'll show you that in a second. For the moment, we're going to click add a custom domain. And then we're going to go and add another custom domain. And this is really where the magic happens. So this is where we're just going to put in the root. If we click validate at this point, we're going to get a record saying a records are not supported. Right. So what we're going to do is flick this over to CNAME and then add custom domain. So before we continue, let's just show you how the validation process works. I want to add a custom domain. I'm going to choose a random name. josh.civitasmea.com and I click on validate. And what you're going to see pop up down here is two entries you need to make at, with your DNS provider. A text record that starts with asuid.www and then contains this value. Right, You can copy it from here. Or, sorry, and a CNAME that starts at www and contains this value. So on my DNS provider, that looks like this. Here's the text, ASUID, and there's the code, and here's the CNAME. On the previous one, there's the star, and there's the CMR redirect, uh, AzureWebsites.net, right, that we pulled out from here. Remember, DNS takes a few minutes to propagate, so uh, you know, don't, don't be in a hurry. Sometimes five, six, ten minutes before you can actually get the validation across. Okay, we have one more DNS record to change. Grab the IP address of the app service, go back to your DNS provider, find the at a record, and update it so it points to the IP address of the app service. Now let's check that it works. We will go back to the previously unsuccessful connection. P, should call whack whack to the root. Uh, C-I-V-I-T-A-S-M-E-R.com. And hey presto, we have been redirected to the full www.civitasmea.com and it's secured. However, we still have one step to go. And we'll go to a new incognito window. And this time we're going to type in https colon whack whack civitasmea.com and we're going to get this. Your connection is not private. If you clicked on advance and click to civitasmea.com on safe, you'll notice it does redirect you to a secure channel, but it's not a very nice experience for the end user. So to fix that, we actually have to go back to civitasmea and add a binding. And this could involve, if you've already got the certificate based on the fact that you're using front door, you could reuse that, which would be to import an app service certificate. You can see I've got one here already. And so I'm going to click OK. All right, choose the thumbprint, choose SNI, click on Add Binding. Now this is a wildcard cert, so I can use it wherever I like. Now let's open up another incognito window. And type in HTTPS, colon, whack, whack, com. And now we're redirecting to www. 
That's it. We're done. You will find the code snippet from the function in the comments section below. And please leave your feedback. Thanks. Bye for now.